Hi, welcome to the Pallet Weather Channel. This is my 2019-20 Winter Outlook 3rd Edition. I'm pretty excited to bring this to you today. I, I fine-tuned my three favorite analogs for this upcoming winter. Uh, before I get started, if you do like weather-related content, please consider subscribing to my channel as I post about four to five videos a week and comment below your favorite winter memory as I will share mine at the end of the video. Now let's get started. So let me take you through uh, the 2019-20 uh, winter outlook. What I did here is I kind of fine-tuned it to my three favorite analogs for this upcoming winter. Uh, I kind of narrowed it down. We went back to all the analogs from 1960 up until now of the Enzo neutral pattern. And I kind of narrowed it down to the 2013-14 winter, 2014-15 winter, and 1978-79 and 79 winters. So I do believe it's kind of a, a summary of all three of those winners. So these, this is my overall thoughts. Um, so I think uh, here's the precipitation outlook. Let's start with the West, where I think we're gonna be in the, in the driest zones. If you look back some of my uh, winter outlooks, uh, we talked about the above average ocean temperatures at 60 North. Um, I think that's gonna be a, a, a favored Pit pattern where that's going to play out for this upcoming winter. And there's also uh, warmer temperatures uh, on the east on 60 north as well. And so that has a lot to do with how I think uh, the overall setups for these for this upcoming winter. So where I think a lot of the western zones uh, right on the edge where they're going to be the driest areas for this winter in, in California and parts of western Oregon and Washington we're gonna be slightly below normal where we have been, where I think we're gonna to continue to be in the south, southeast regions uh, into Texas. So much of Nevada, uh, New Mexico, parts of Arizona, all, pretty much all of Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, parts of Alabama, I think are gonna be slightly below normal for winter. And uh, so what, what I did was too, is I, I expanded all of winter. Uh, my second winter outlook, I, I kind of favored uh, the meteorologic winter, winter, and so that was only those 90 days, but I do think we're going to have a later winter this year, so I went ahead and included all of winter, which is essentially a lot of the, for the northern states, uh, from November all the way through April into May. So some of these are going to be changed from the second outlook, but I included that to foretell in my, my outlook. So I do think Florida is going to be slightly above uh, normal precipitation. And the wettest areas, I do think, for this upcoming winter are going to be in the southeast regions of Georgia and Alabama and uh, North Carolina and into Tennessee, and slightly above normal all the way in the northeast, uh, parts of Pennsylvania, uh, New York, uh, Maine, all, all of Vermont and New Hampshire, all those states, and, and another slightly above normal into Wisconsin and parts of Minnesota. And there's a big pocket of just normal normal precipitation, um, uh, pretty much all of the Dakotas and Colorado and Nebraska and Kansas and Iowa and Idaho. I think we're gonna be pretty much normal conditions, precipitation. And as far as the temperature goes, I do think we're gonna be above normal in parts of California, Nevada, Arizona again, southern parts of Oregon, and then there's a pocket of slightly above normal con conditions uh, in uh, parts of Washington State, Idaho, and to Utah. And I think there's gonna be a, a near, near normal conditions in West Texas, uh, parts of uh, New Mexico and into Colorado, I think you're gonna be in normal. But about two thirds of the country, I do think you're gonna be below normal temperatures for this upcoming winter. Uh, where I think it's not these cold fronts are going to make it as far south and into Florida. So they might, you know, bits and pieces of the panhandle. But overall, I don't think this is a winter that most of these cold fronts make it as far south as into Florida. All right. But but slightly below normal te temperatures in parts of Texas, Louisiana, or Alabama, uh, Georgia, South Carolina, into North Carolina, all of Arkansas and, and parts of, and then just there's a pocket of, you know, even more below normal and all of Maine, Vermont, all the nor'eastern states into Pennsylvania, uh, down here swinging through Nebraska and, and western zones of Nebraska and, and the Dakota regions. And then there's a pocket of 
well below normals where I, I think these Arctic blasts are going to come through a, a lot more on a frequent basis. Parts of uh, Minnesota and all the eastern parts of Nebraska, uh, southern Illinois, Indiana, Idaho, you know, Indiana, Ohio, and then the bitterly cold conditions where I think there's going to be at times, you know, where you're well below zero and staying there for weeks. <laughs> Uh, parts of Wisconsin, eastern parts of Minnesota, Michigan. I think all of these parks are going to see the, the most extreme uh, winter they've seen, well, since 2013-14, where, where you experience those bitterly cold conditions, not, you know, well past February. I, I do think we're going to have a late winter. So this is, this is, doesn't include all of, all of March now and all of, all of April. So this includes you know, essentially six months versus the last winter outlook only included that meteorologically winter of those three months, December, January, and February. So if we look at uh, the overall snowfall, which most people are interested in, uh, there's a pocket of pretty much below average conditions where it's gonna be the driest in California, all, pretty much all of California and Southern uh, Arizona and New Mexico and parts of West Texas. I do think you're gonna be below average snowfall for this upcoming but a, a pocket of normal conditions where I do think you're gonna be capturing some of that Northwest flow, especially later on where the PNA moves into positive area where I think the Greenland block kind of breaks down up, uh, up here about 60 North. And then I think as the PNA moves over and it moves into positive and you're gonna get a little bit more of that Northwest flow uh, in these areas, which will put you in more of a normal condition, but I think later on in the winter. So parts of Idaho, uh, Oregon, all, all the way into Western parts of Colorado, and then normal conditions in South South Texas, South Louisiana, uh, the Panhandle of, of Florida, all those areas in pretty much normal conditions. Again, below below average snowfall into Florida, where you really don't see much at all anyway. But there's there's obviously a, a, a pocket of above above normal conditions snowfall in in parts of Texas and into the Dallas area. I do think you're gonna be above normal this year. You only average 1.7, so it doesn't take much to be above normal. But into Georgia and, and the Atlanta area, North Carolina, this is kind of be like your, your transition zone. So again, two thirds of the country, I do think you're gonna have above normal snowfall for this upcoming winter. And there's a whole, pocket here why I think you're going to be experiencing blizzard conditions at time and well above average snowfalls in parts of uh, Pennsylvania, like for example, in Pittsburgh, where you average 40 inches of snow a year, and I think in maybe 60, right, 60 to 70 inches. So we're talking, you know, well, well above average snowfalls. And I, and I left a lot of a lot of the comments uh, in my second winter outlook, I gave you a kind of a personalized forecast and and I kept on reiterating 2013, 2014, but in a lot of these areas, I had a lot of comments in the Pennsylvania and parts of the Northeast where I think you're going to have, you know, well above average snowfalls for this upcoming winter. And essentially the snowiest areas where you're going to have lake effect snows, I think, you know, lake of, uh, well above average lake, lake effect snows at times. Again, this whole area in the Northeast, I do think you're going to have a, a well above average with with a pocket of the snowiest areas even more above average um, for this upcoming winter. So, you know, kind of an overall summary on how I think this winter is going to play out. Here, I, here's going to be your driest and warmest temps where you're going to have less precipitation into California, western parts of Oregon, into Washington. I do think you're going to have transition to more of a normal pattern again later on in the winter where part you're going to experience a lot of some of that northwest flow. Um, in the parts of you know Nevada and Arizona and New Mexico, and those big temperature swings where I do think you're going to have those Arctic intrusions coming down, dipping into Texas, but again lifting back up at the Southeast Ridge. So there's going to be a pocket of South Texas into Houston and West Texas that you're you're, you're going to experience in 80 degrees one day and 30 degrees next. So I think you're going to have a, a big swing, big trend, big big swing in temperatures for this upcoming winter. And there's a pocket of the driest area where you're going to get all the rainfall you need <laughs> uh, for, for, for winter. I mean, the, all the rainfall you needed with the with all the tropical systems you're getting in Florida right now. But for the wintertime, I do think you're going to tr start drying out. Uh, but there's going to be a pocket of the wettest areas just a little bit above in northern 
uh, Florida into the panhandle, pretty much all of Al Alabama, Georgia, uh, what, what, Southern, uh, South Carolina, and then that transition zone and parts of Texas, again, where you have those Arctic intrusions, where you're going to have those kind of a icy setups and at times where I do think you're going to have above average snowfall, but also icy setups at times in parts of the Carolinas, North Texas region and Al uh, Amarillo, all of Oklahoma and parts of uh, North Carolina, and then the Northwest flow setups where these, these systems are going to come down and you're going to have a, uh, you know, again, really cold, bitterly cold Arctic intrusions at times, and where you're going to have the, you know, it's kind of a more of an extreme winter, the polar vortex setups, where you're just going to have more often clipper systems coming down and, and sending Arctic intrusions into all of Minnesota and what's, you know, parts of Michigan and Iowa area, and especially in, the, in Chicago, Illinois area, where you're going to experience some of these you know bitterly cold uh, conditions at time and then where i think where the you know the kind of the snowiest setups we're gonna have lake effect snows at time feats of snows blizzard light out conditions pretty 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 extreme winter coming up for uh this part of the country where i do think you're gonna have be susceptible for, to more of those systems uh, as they come across uh this um we're gonna have these northeastern setups where you're going to have some of these coastal huggers. Again, I expect two thirds of this area to be in well above normal snowfall. So, um, you know, so you're going to experience a lot of this, uh, some, some water vapor coming in, mixing in, but you'll, you'll have this coastal huggers at times. And then further inland, I call it, you know, the kind of the conversion zone where you're going to have these overrunning events where you're going to be more susceptible into parts of Pennsylvania where I, where I talked about Pittsburgh getting 60 inches versus an average of 40. So this is what I talked about, it, like kind of a convergent zone uh, area here. So that's kind of my overall summary of how I think winters uh, kind of play out. Um, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Here's, here is my um, favorite picture of, of winter. This was part this was back in February of 11, 2010. I, I live in Dallas, Texas, and we don't we don't experience some snow here very often. But this was a day that it snowed uh, 12.6 inches, and I actually had 13.5 inches in my backyard, and uh, that that was uh, truly a sight to see. And there's my little uh, nitro that unfortunately is no longer with us, but. Uh, Trust me, I, I enjoyed that day, and I was outside most of the day playing it like a kid again. But I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in. Um, if you found value in this video, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. And you can also do me a favor and tell 250 of your friends about this channel. I appreciate your support. So stay tuned to the next video where I protect you before and after the storm.